to everyone. Today in this video, we are going to learn present simple tense. Dear students, to learn English language, we need to know these sentences, these tenses, these three tenses, present simple tense, past tense and future tense. First of all, I am going to talk about present simple tense. Guys, present simple tense. Present means mojuda, right now. Okay? In Sindhi, we, in Urdu, we, the meaning of this tense is zamane ha. Tense means time. It actually shows time. Which time is going on? Which time goes on? Okay, present simple tense. I mean your routine activities, your actions which you normally do. Repeated actions or routines is called present simple tense. Those actions or those um, activities which we normally do. Definition. It describes an action or a state that happens regularly or sometimes. So those actions or those activities which really happens regularly or sometimes is known as present simple tense. These are the three words of present simple tense. Always, usually, often, sometimes, every day. Let's move towards affirmative structure of present simple tense. To know affirmative structure, we need to learn the tense structure, the structure of a sentence. I go to school. So what is I here? I is a subject. I is a subject. And what is subject? Subject is a part of a sentence. Subject is a main part of a sentence to which the whole sentence is based upon. Or subject is a main part of a subject Subject the main part of a tense in tense where we are speaking about. I go to a school. I go to a school. Go to a school. That is a word, main word. I is a subject. Go to a school. It is a sentence structure. This is an affirmative structure of a sentence. Okay? Now, with these subjects, we will not use S or ES in the word. I, you, they, we, or any plural noun, any plural name. Like, you do your homework. You do your homework. They eat an apple. We go to Karwachi. Ali and Aisha eat apple, eat an apple. So we are not supposed to use S or ES in the main word with these subjects. I, <coughs> now he, she, it, Ali or any singular noun, we will use S or ES in the word. These are third person singulars. Third person singulars means he, she, it, Ali, singular name like Aisha, Ikra, I mean any singular name which is not, who is not present right now but whom we are talking about. We will use S or ES in the main word. They are regular words. Those regular words which ends in S, S, X, C, H, S, H or O. We will use ES in the word again. Those regular words who, uh, which are ending in S, S, X, C, H, S, H or O, we will use S, we will use E, S in the word. Like wash, washes, watch, watches, go, goes. Stop. Those sentences. No, stop. If the word ends on consonant sound, if the word is consonant and it ends at Y, we will use 
I E S in the word. I E S will be either in the word if the word ends at consonant part. Why? We will add I E S in the word like S T U D Y is study. We will use I E S in the study. If the word ends at vowel sound, why? We will use plus s. We will use s in the word like p l a y play, p l a y s plays. Let's take another example. They play in the playground, or I will say that they usually play in the playground. They. They play in the playground. We will. Not use s or es in the word. A grammatical rule. She plays at home. She is a third person singular, and we will use p l a y s. We will use s in the word. She plays at home. Present simple tense is also talk of, is also used to describe permanent situations. Permanent situations like. She lives in Paris. She lives in Paris. I mean, she lives in Paris. We know that she has been living over there for um, six years or six ages. So we will say that she lives in Paris. Number two. Like if a doctor, if he is a doctor, he will say that I treat my patients. I treat my patient. Doctor will say, okay. So this is a. Like here, and another permanent fact. I speak four languages. I speak four languages. So this is a permanent fact. It also includes in present simple tense. Let's move towards the structure and the kinds of sentence that is interrogative and negative sentence. Start. So this is the first kind of present simple tense, affirmative or positive is structured. What it actually is, affirmative or positive statement is where we do not find any negativity or interrogative in the sentence. This should be the simplest one. I eat an apple. Here we have to mention subject and the starting of the sentence. Plus word, plus object. I told you earlier that subject is a main subject is a main part of the sentence. It is uh, it can be a person, it can be an object where we are, which we are speaking about. Plus word, plus object. I eat an apple. Here the subject is I. I eat an apple. This is an affirmative structure of present simple tense. She writes a letter. She writes a letter. Third person singular. What was I? It was the first person. <coughs> she. She is a third person singular. She writes a letter. Come on, let's take some other example of affirmative sentences. She goes to the school. Ali sings a song. He writes a letter. He uh, plays a game. Let's move towards the second part of present simple tense. That is negative structure. Negative structure. <coughs> Sorry. To form the negative, we use auxiliary. Negative, we use auxiliary. Do not. The only variation goes with third person doesn't. In the sentence, we have to put subject. As I told you here, we have to put subject in the starting of the sentence. They subject is they. Which variations come here? That is do not. It is actually the negative part of the sentence. They do not play tennis. Play again. Here comes word. They do not play tennis. So what? Which the variation came here? That is. The only variation goes with third person doesn't. He doesn't play football. He, no. He doesn't play football. So what is the negative element here? That is does not. 
he doesn't play football let's take some other example she doesn't go to karachi she does not go to karachi she doesn't eat an apple ali doesn't play a game i do not go to school let's take the third uh, form of present simple tense that is interrogative what is interrogative interrogative means question questions sentences those sentences where we put question mark at the end of the sentence and what we have to do here in the place of subject we will put do or does words okay do does plus subject plus verb we have to bring do or does in the starting of the sentence to make an interrogative form of a sentence number 1 do they play do they play or we may say that do they play tennis no they don't number 2 does she play golf yes she does let's take an example okay number 3 does he go does he go see the change this is the third person uh, subject here we were supposed to use s and es in the word but we will not because this is an interrogative form and in interrogative form we have already used does the word but it is very much necessary it is essential that we have to put question mark at the end of the sentence to make an interrogative statement okay hope it is clear to all of you come on let's say an overview of it what were affirmative sentences affirmative sentences were the positive statements i eat an apple she writes a letter she goes to school she uh, helps each other negative to form the negative we use auxiliary do not but the only variation will come with the third person that is doesn't here subject plus do or doesn't plus verb they do not play tennis they don't play tennis he doesn't play football he doesn't eat fruit interrogative do does plus subject plus verb we have to put do or does in the starting of the sub uh, in the sentence to make an interrogative statement do they play does she play golf does he go does he come does he sing a song okay so this is a this is the uh, whole introduction of present simple tense along with its three kinds that is affirmative negative and interrogative hope this video will be helpful to you inshallah we will see you in another video good luck